What's up guys, it's Strax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to make this black and red, black joggers tryhard outfit. So this is going to be a real simple glitch. So first we're going to go ahead and show you on how to get the black joggers. So for this, you will want to go ahead and call out your MOC. So pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to services, click on services, scroll down to mobile operation center, click on mobile operation center, and you're just going to want to go ahead and request your MOC. After you do request your MOC, uh, it just depends where you are on the map, but wait for your MOC to spawn on the map, which mine will probably spawn right around here. And so whenever your MOC does spawn, then you're just going to want to go ahead and go to your MOC and then go to the MOC jobs that are inside your MOC trailer. So I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to my mobile operation center. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black joggers. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just going to want to change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just going to go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter. But just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet, go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. Now whenever you are at the clothing store, you should be wearing the black joggers, so now I'm going to go ahead and make this outfit. To make this outfit, go ahead and just walk over here to your tops. Whenever you do get to your tops, scroll down until you find designer t-shirts, which should be right here on slot 29. So click on designer t-shirts and you're going to be looking for the VDG skeleton t-shirt, which is on slot 13. After you do equip the VDG skeleton t-shirt, you can now just back out of your tops, walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to sneakers, which is right here on slot 2. Click on sneakers and you're going to be looking for the cherry plain high tops, which will be on slot 5. After you have equipped the cherry plain high tops, just back out of your shoes, walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to scarfs, click on scarfs, and look for the black scarf, which will be near, near the bottom on slot 14. So after you do equip the black scarf, back out of the scarfs, scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and look for the black woolen gloves, which will be on slot 58. And after you have equipped the black woolen gloves and the scarf, you can now just back out of your accessories, and this is what your outfit will look like so far. So if your character has any head accessories, go ahead and take that off real quick. And after you do take off your head accessories, this is what your outfit should look like so far. So I did forget one thing. So you're just going to want to head over here back to your tops. Scroll down to Utility Vest, which is on slot 53. Click on, click on Utility Vest. And you're going to be looking for the Peach Plate Carrier, which will be right here on slot 43. So go ahead and equip the Peach Plate Carrier. And now this is what your outfit should look like so far. So after your outfit does look like this, go up to the front counter and just save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20. And after you have saved this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, go ahead and back out of your edit saved outfits, 
Scroll down through the clothing until you find Heist Coveralls, which will be right here on slot 13. So click on Heist Coveralls. After you click on Heist Coveralls, scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12, and you will see these uh, hazmat suits, I guess. You can call them with the toxic mask. And you're going to want to go ahead and equip one of these four outfits. The, you can either equip the white, black, yellow, or the blue one. But after you do equip one of these outfits with a toxic mask, you're not going to want to go ahead, back out of the front counter, and head over here to the so we can do the telescope glitch. When you have found a telescope on the pier, you're just now going to want to do the telescope glitch. So go ahead and just run past the telescope like I do, and then just hit right on the D-pad. So run like this, hit right on the D-pad, and you'll see that your character's helmet or mask do come off. So now pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, and scroll down to the outfit we just saved at the clothing store and go ahead and equip that outfit. After you do equip that outfit, you're now going to want to go ahead, back away from the telescope, and you should see the mask does equip on your outfit just like this. So after you do see that the mask has equipped on your outfit just like this, you're now going to want to head over here to the gun store, so then we can save the outfit again. When you get to the gun store, go ahead and just walk over here to the clothing section, where it says tops, and then you're just going to want to hit your edit saved outfits and save this outfit again on slot 1 or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. After you have saved the outfit, go ahead and back out of your tops, and now we're going to go ahead and start up the job that's called a titan of a job. So I'm on the new gen consoles, but this works on both gen, so or on both gen consoles, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, the, I guess the pause menu is kind of different for the jobs. So if you guys hit pause, scroll to online, and where mine says quick job, uh, for you it might say play job. So go ahead and just click on that, and then for me, I had to click on play job, or had to click on quick job to uh, click on play job. So go ahead and click on play job. After you do that, scroll down to Rockstar Created. Go ahead, after you click on Rockstar Created, scroll down to Missions, click on Missions, and then look for the job that's called A Titan of a Job, and just start up that job. Once you spawn in into the Titan of a Job mission, you should see that you aren't wearing the Peach Plate Carrier anymore, or the Utility Vest, so this is what your outfit should look like so far. After your outfit looks like this, go ahead and just walk back over here to your tops, hit Edit Saved Outfits, and just save your outfit once again on the slot that you saved it on before, like slot 1 or slot 20, and after you did save the outfit, you're now going to want to go ahead, pull up your phone, and just leave the job from your phone. When you have loaded back into a public session, go ahead and just run back inside the gun store. Whenever you are back inside the gun store, go over here to where it says tops. Whenever you are here at the tops, scroll down until you find a vest, which will be on slot 47. So click on vest, and you can go ahead and equip any vest that looks like this. It doesn't matter. But after you do equip a vest, go ahead and back out of the vest, scroll down to vest shirts, which will be on slot 48. Click on vest shirts. And you're going to be looking for the red band vest shirt, which is on slot 12. So go ahead and equip the red band vest shirt. After you do equip the red band vest shirt, you can now just back out of your tops. And now you can either start up, what is it, the hippie hunting job. Or if you don't want to do that because it could take a while for someone to join, you can go ahead and go to your apartment. And then whenever you go to your apartment, we're going to go ahead and do the new merge glitch. When you have made it to your apartment, you're just going to want to go ahead and go into your heist planning board room. After you've made it to your heist planning board room, go up to your heist planning board, and out of all the heist, you're going to want to go ahead and select the first one. That's called the fleek a job. After you do select the fleek a job, the first job it'll have you do, it's going to be called scope out. After you do complete the scope out mission, the second job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called fleek a job karuma. That's the job that we're going to use for the merge glitch. So once you have that job ready to go, go ahead and just start up that job. When you did load into the Kuruma job, make sure your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits. After your, after your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits, you can wait for a friend or a random to join. And then after you set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, then you can just launch the job. When you load into here on your owned outfits, if you saved your outfit on slot 1, scroll one time to the right. If you saved your outfit on slot 20, scroll one time to the left. And after your outfit does look like this, then you can just hit ready to play. When you load into the Kuruma job, then you can just pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. Okay guys, once you've loaded back into a public session, you're going to want to go ahead and find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. But once you find a vehicle, go ahead and get inside that vehicle. After you've gone inside the car, go ahead and pull up your interaction menu and you're going to want to join a CEO or a motorcycle club. So go ahead and just register as a CEO or a motorcycle club. After you've registered as a CEO or a motorcycle club, pull up your interaction menu up again. 
click on Secure Serve CEO or Motorcycle Club, go ahead and scroll down to Management, click on Management, scroll down to Style, click on Style, and after you do that, on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, and then scroll one time to the right back to None. After you've done that, you can now just put away your interaction menu and get out of the car. After you do get out of the car, you will see that you do get this red and black ripped shirt with the black joggers. So this is what your outfit should look like so far. Now we're going to go ahead and finish this outfit. So now we're going to go ahead and head over here to the mask store. When you get to the mask store, just walk over here to the mask. Scroll down to Ski Mask, which is on slot 19. Click on Ski Mask and scroll down to the bottom on slot 114, which should be the black tight ski. Go ahead and equip the black tight ski mask. After you do equip the black tight ski mask, back out of the mask store, walk over here to the hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19, click on bulletproof helmets, and just scroll down and equip the black bulletproof. And after you do that, this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this glitch in this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy this glitched outfit. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.